Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dog God Frog Log. Today we're going to be taking a look at Torion. I really like this game. Uh, they got a big treasure hunt going on with lots of prizes. It's really easy to play, especially if you like real time strategy. First things first, go to the Discord, that's what I prefer, and grab the latest client. Um, I'm on 5.7 right now because that's the latest stable version. Um, doesn't work, they are all the way up to 6. So, what you do, download the client, choose either simple mode or advanced. I play with advanced, I have the Electron wallet downloaded, I'll have a link below in the description. Um, very easy to use, that's what I prefer. You can also use simple, that just requires the client, you don't need to download any additional wallets um, for that version. Once you're in the game, come over here to the right. You want to make sure that you've applied on the website first, but after you have, use the same email and then come down here and put an account name. Hit send. It's going to confirm. You'll see it up here at the top. It'll take a minute. Once that's done, your name will appear right here on the left. Choose one of your names and log right on into the game. Super, super simple. Now this screen may take a minute or two to load um, due to all of the data. So don't worry if you're stuck here for a minute or two, it's pretty normal. Okay, once you start up Torion, this is what you'll see. You'll have five units here. I have 20 because I've bought extra. You can have a max of 20 units. Um, you'll have your map up here on the top right, but this map doesn't really work too well. Um, you also have your chat on the bottom left. Zaya will show you your drops. So first things first, come up here to dashboard. Um, I like to turn off the minimap UI. If there's anything else that you want to change or adjust, you can go right here to the dashboard. Connection is pretty straightforward. Um, gameplay, always show all unit paths, show pending unit paths, and use landscape hex map overlay. Um, I'll show you what that does in a minute. Super important. Um, controls as needed audio I keep it fairly muted and then for the video settings it really depends on your PC what I recommend if you're struggling come down here to cold distance cut that down to 50,000 um, a lot better for me these are the default settings since I've reinstalled the client so don't worry about mine now once that's done um, your units will be docked, so they will be in this base. What you want to do, um, not this base per se, but they'll be in a building. And if your units are in the building, there's a starter zone over there. Okay, so now you're ready to take your first couple moves. What you want to do is click on your unit. They'll be docked. That's what this little uh, download button symbol means. Um, so when they're docked, what you can do is if you choose one unit and then select all, you can undock them all at once. If you try to undock them all, if you just select all and then try to undock, it won't work. You have to select one unit, then select all, then it'll work. See if I close off of it, select all, the dock button's not there. Just a neat little trick to undock all of your units at once. So undock your units. Okay, so when you do have a new vehicle created and you want to swap it, it's pretty simple. Just come down here to your base, make sure that you have the vehicle selected, that it's in the proper base, and right click on the vehicle and click change vehicle and confirm. Now there is a bug at the moment, after your vehicle swaps it will be way up in the sky box um, and it won't show as docked, but otherwise it works perfectly fine. Don't worry. Just undock your unit if you need to, redock it, it'll be fine. Go ahead and swap. When you do want to swap gear on a unit, all you have to do is take the gear from your inventory, drag it over, and drop it in the pot and um, You can equip all the gear at once, but keep in mind that you have a complexity bar here. It is the same bar across all slots, but it's only showing um, per category at the moment. What I mean is, you have a max complexity. It's tracked across weapons, engine, and structure, but if you click on engine, you can see here how the bar drops, even though I already have two weapons on. It's not properly tracking all three 
equipment fitments together. So just keep in mind, it's pretty easy just to look here and be like, oh, I'm a third of the bar, I'm a half of the bar. Kind of just eyeball it, figure out how much complexity you have. Pretty simple. Um, it'll be purple when your units are have a pending move. When they have a pending move in the queue, it'll show up as purple. You'll also see purple lines on the map. The units moving, you'll see this red line. Back to base. This will be the um, building menu that you'll see. You have each of these icons here that represent a different uh, feature that the buildings can perform. So this building can repair vehicles and refine ore. Um, this is the building's inventory here. So you can see where I have refined some ore. You can right click on it, choose max, and that'll let you refine. But um, as you can see, I, I don't have enough there to refine. And it'll sometimes be grayed out. If it's grayed out like this and you can't refine your ore, come over here and reduce the number. And it'll let you do it. So just reduce the number to an even multiple of 10. It'll let you refine unless your amounts are too small. You can also see your docked vehicles over here. Um, so here you can see everybody who's stored in the building. Quite a few of me. And you'll also be able to see the current task. This will show all of the actions that's currently going on in this building. Um, not really too descriptive at the moment. And don't worry about these right now. They don't. Um, so, and you can also see what building or what faction a building belongs to with these little icons. They'll show up on the units as well. So it's really easy if you're getting confused um, trying to navigate the map. Speaking of the map, you can hit tab. Pull out here. See everybody currently on the map. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is that um, the colors match the color of their vehicle, not the color of their faction currently. Uh, so if you want to see um, what faction they actually are, click on the unit and check the little badge on the top left. That way you know whether or not you're running into an enemy. Um, that's generally everything you need to know to get through the base. It's pretty straightforward for an RTS. Um, there are qubits, which are the in-game currency for Torion. Um, I've bought a bit, and we still have about half of stage one left. Um, so pretty good amount remaining. Um, cubits, you will be refunded all of the cubits that you buy during the beta. You can see down here what my full game balance will be. When you are in game and you want to buy more, come over here, put in the amount you want, hit buy, it will burn some chi permanently, and you will get those cubits. So I've just burnt 50 chi, I will get 500,000 cubits and these cubits are really useful you need them to upgrade weapons to basically do any sort of high level tech in Torion um, so it's really good to just grab a chunk of them early on if you're gonna play you will need some chi if you're going to buy cubits um, what I recommend is using the pro bit um, exchange it's really easy to use it doesn't require KYC um, I've used it a couple times now I've withdrawn really easily so um, I like it um, that's where I've got most of my cheap okay so now that you've got set up you've adjusted your UI you've got your units undocked at the base you're ready to prospect for prizes or mine for resources if you hit spacebar you will see some red blobs on the map um, these are areas that you can prospect. It's really easy to do so. Make sure that you have a unit on the square. Go to the unit, click the prospect button, and confirm. Now, starter vehicles take 10 blocks. Small advance take five blocks. It takes less and less to prospect with the advanced vehicles. I would recommend trying to get to a small advance vehicle ASAP. Um, if you can't get the blueprints, players will trade those to you pretty cheap right now or give them to you. I wouldn't worry. And you'll get blueprints um, by prospecting. 
So when you prospect, you will receive artifacts, common, uncommon, rare, or ultra rare, but ultra rare only drop from H and I resource patches. Um, now I will have a map linked below that you can check for the resource locations. I will have a map for the buildings where you can turn in prizes, so just check the link. That. Um, but it's a 1 in 200 chance of getting an ultra rare um, artifact, and then it is a 1 in 10,000 chance in the main game of getting a blueprint. Um, so it's really, really, really hard to get these ultra rare blueprints, but the odds are boosted for the treasure hunt, so don't worry too much right now. Keep in mind that when somebody finds a blueprint, it's 25% harder for that blueprint to be found again. Um, so even though the drop rates are boosted right now during the treasure hunt, some of the blueprints are already decently rare. Again, just give a shout out in chat. Somebody will hook you up with some of the lower level V. There. So, when they are prospecting, you will see this little yellow circle going out from underneath them. You will not be able to interact with them. That's perfectly normal. Once they're done prospecting, if they found a prize, you will see it pop up here on the left, like OB has. Now, um, if you want resources, you can hit F to see what resources are on each square. And you'll see raw A, B, C, etc. Those correspond to the refined resources of the same letter. So A is A, B is B, C is C. Pretty simple, and it'll it'll make sense once you start crafting your items. Um, prospect, bring it back to your bases or your buildings that can refine, which I showed you. That's the refine symbol right there. Um, right click on them, use a little bit of cubits, and you will be able to take those resources back to base, and you will be able to build items. Um, items are made out of blueprints. Uh, which I'm not sure if I have any on this account, actually. Ah, here we go. Um, items are made out of blueprints. So here's a Gorgon blueprint. It only takes Beryllium and Agarite. Um, but once you have those two resources, which are right around the base, you can make yourself a unit. You would just choose the amount that you want, hit create and confirm. Very easy. Um, you can have weapons and have um, vehicles. That's pretty much the two things that you can build a base at the moment. And keep in mind that the light rail guns that you get with the starter vehicles are some of the best guns. Um, they're much stronger than other guns of their tier. Take these and put them on your better vehicles until you outscale them somewhere around the uh, medium range. The prize list can be found over here on the left. Um, top kills. Has the most kills here. Top fame. Fame. And you can see what prizes are left. Um, there's still a copy of Assassin's Creed, still some Age of Rome. Um, most of the prizes have been found, um, but they'll likely toss in some extra prizes if we run out um, time left on the event the treasure hunt runs until october 12th so there's plenty of time to get in here and get on the leaderboard or prospect something um, the one thing that i haven't covered today is combat combat is fairly straightforward um, you have your vehicles they have their weapons, which you can equip here in base. They have ranges. There are shield replenishers. There are range extenders that increase the range of your weapons. Uh, heavy plating to increase your HP. Low HP boost, which is basically like a berserker mode when your HP gets too low on a unit. Um, there's also turbo, which will increase the speed of your unit, but several different attachments that you can use. Um, just be careful if your client's crashing it's a bit buggy right now with combat uh, try going to version 6 it doesn't work as well for resources or materials but it's much better for combat and should prevent crashes I go to 6 when I'm fighting and I swap back over to 5.7 and do some mining um, 
a little bit inconvenient, but in another release or two, um, all of these bugs should be worked out. Some general tips. Uh, make sure to park your units at night. As you can see, there are quite a few players on the map. Um, they will kill you. They will take your items. You will be free points for the leaderboard. Um, I'll get you. They'll get you. You gotta watch out. Um, there are a lot of people playing um, who just want some points, want some kills. Be careful. Park your units in a building or at night. There is a safe space around the buildings of about 5 to 10 tiles. Um, so as soon as you get near those buildings, you should be fairly safe. Just watch out for units in the way in the meantime. Um, what I recommend if you're worried about someone in particular, find their name right here on the left. Go over to the right. Choose their unit and then it'll take you directly to them. This is the easiest way to find players at the moment. But I use to find everybody. Take advantage of it. For your prizes, they will need to be banked at the proper building. So you can see this is the Reality Clash building. And it only holds Reality Clash prizes. Even though you can store everything else in there, the only prizes that will count are Reality Clash prizes. Um, so make sure that you take your prizes to the proper buildings. I have a map. Again, I'll repost it. Um, where you can deposit everything. Six Dragons is bugged, so that one also take that to your base. Um, okay, something really convenient, but it may crash on you the first few times, are groups. Click on the Add Group button, choose a unit from the list, and give it a name. Bam, you have a group. Now when you choose Select All, it will only select from the group, which makes it really easy to kind of split your units up and do some fancier movements in combat or just get them across the map and keep track of me. Really like the group setting, make sure you use it. If there's anything that I missed, if there's anything that you want to know about Torion, I will have links to all the materials that you need below the video so you can see what vehicles there are, um, their stats, buildings, all sorts of information really easy to just read the github um, that's what I would recommend if you're trying to figure something out about the game just click through the info on there super super easy to use um, but I'll have some links for you below make sure to like follow and subscribe if you want to see uh, the next game that's gonna come out